Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design an author box for your blogger website. So this is how it's gonna look. And we also have a mobile version. So if I reduce the width of the screen, this is how the mobile version will look. So this is what we're gonna design in this video. And in the next video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger website. So that below every post that you have in your blogger website, you will have this uh, author box displayed. So let's get started. <laughs> I have created a new project and I have this folder over here called images and in that we have the image that we're going to use for this design and I'm using this code editor called VS Code. So let's start by creating a new file. So let's click on new file and I will create a file called index.html and let's also create a file for the styles. So I'll just type styles.css and let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code you have this shortcut where you can press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this uh, basic HTML5 code. Now let's start by linking our CSS file. So I'll just type link and press tab and in the href we will just type styles.css. Now we're going to be using Font Awesome for these icons. So let's get the CDN link of Font Awesome. So just search for Font Awesome 5 CDN and uh, you'll get this link of CDN.js. So let's click on that and uh, let's copy this uh, all.min.css link from here. So let's click on this copy link tag and uh, let's paste it over here in the head section. All right now let's continue with our markup. I'll start by creating a container division to hold everything. So I'll just give it a class of author box container. And in that we will have two divisions, one for the image and one for all this uh, information. So let's create a division with a class of author image and in that we'll have the image so I'll just type img and uh, for the source I'll just type images slash author.png so this is the image that we had over here inside the images folder alright now let's create another division so we'll give it a class of author info and here first we'll have the name so for that we'll have an s3 and uh, let's type john doe so I have this extension called live server installed on VS Code. So you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And we can see the image and the heading are being displayed. Now the next thing we need to have is uh, this paragraph over here. So let's copy this. Now for this we'll create a paragraph with the class of description. And I'll just paste it over here. And lastly we need to have the icons. So let's create a division with the class of social. And uh, in that we'll have anchor tags. You can go ahead and add the links of your social media accounts over here. And in the anchor tags we'll have the icons. Now here I'm in the official website of Font Awesome. So let's go ahead and search for the icons. The first icon we want is of Facebook. So let's type Facebook over here. And let's select this icon right here. Now this is the code that we need to add to our HTML. So let's copy this. And uh, let's go over here inside the anchor tag and we'll just paste it over here. And uh, let's copy this and paste it two more times. And the next icon is for Twitter. And then we also have an icon for Instagram. Now the code for Twitter and Instagram is almost the same. We have to just replace Facebook with Instagram and Twitter. So let's just close this. Now here in the second icon, I'll just type Twitter. And in the third one, we'll just type Instagram. Right now we can see all the icons are displayed over here. Now let's go ahead and style it. So let's go to styles.css and uh, let's start with the author box container. So this is the main division over here, author box container. So let's target that. I'll just type author box container. Now here we can see that these elements are one next to the other. So we have the image over here and all the content over here on the right. For that we can use display of flex. So I'll just type display of flex. And now we can see both the elements are one next to the other. So here we can see we have one element called author image and the other element called author info. So both of them are one next to the other. And we also want them to be aligned center vertically. So for that we have to type align items center. Now we can see that everything is centered vertically. And let's also set a font family of Roboto and sans serif. And we'll also add a margin of 16 pixels. Alright, now before continuing with the styling of the author box container, let's style the image first. So I'll just target author box container, 
author image and uh, we will set the height of the image to 200 pixels and we also have to set the height of the img tag so let's type author box container author image img and we'll set the height to 100% of the parent let's also set the object fit to cover so that uh, the image is not stretched even if we increase or remove the height and the width right now the next thing we will do is uh, we will have one third of the width for this image and the rest of the width for this uh, info so for that we can use a property called flex so let's type flex1 for the author image and for the author info let's type flex of 2 so let's type author box container author info and here we just type flex2 and let's also set the width of the img tag to 100% of the parent now we can see that the image takes up one unit of the width and the author info takes up two units of the width All right now let's add some more styling to the author box container so we will set a border radius of 10 pixels for rounded corners and now let's add a box shadow and we'll set the values to 0, 4 pixels, 16 pixels, negative 5 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.3 and let's also add border radius to this uh, image so here I'll just type border radius of 10 pixels now the IMG tag is not getting the border radius so for that you have to type overflow of hidden so that anything outside this author image division will not be seen now we will set a max width of 500 pixels for this author box container so here I'll just type max width and we'll set it to 500 pixels right now let's style the author info now for this we will add a padding of 0 for top and bottom and for left and right we'll have a padding of 24 pixels and now let's style the s3 so let's type author box container author info s3 and we'll set the font size to 24 pixels and we'll also set a margin of 0 all right now let's target the paragraph so we have this paragraph over here and we also have a class of description so let's type author box container author info description and for this we will set a line height of 2 we will change the color of the text so we'll just type color and we'll set the color to 555 now let's target the social icons so here I'll just type author box container author info social a and for this we will set a font size of 32 pixels and we will remove the underline so we'll just type text decoration and we'll set it to none and we'll also add a padding of 0 for top and bottom and for left and right we'll have 16 pixels of padding and when we hover over this we need to have the grow animation so for that we have to change the display of the anchor tags to inline block and now let's style the hover so let's type author box container author info social a colon hover and uh, let's set a transform of scale 1.1 and we also have a smooth transition so let's type transition of all to 400 milliseconds right now let's hover over this and we can see we have the grow animation now let's have different colors for each of these icons so if you go back to the HTML we can see that we have this i tag with classes FAB and FA Facebook square and for this we have FA Twitter square and for the last one we have FA Instagram square so we can target these classes so let's type author box container author info social and we will type FA Facebook square and let's set the color to 3B5998 alright let's copy this and paste it down here and for this we will have Twitter and let's set the color of the text to 1DA1F2 and let's copy it once more and for this we will have Instagram and let's set the color to FD1D1D alright that's it with the design of the desktop version of the author box now let's add some styles for the mobile version so let me just right click over here and click on inspect and we'll just click on this button called toggle device toolbar and we can select any device from here so I'll just select iPhone 10 right now let's add some media queries so let's type at media and let's type max width and we'll set it to 500 pixels now when the screen width is less than 500 pixels all the CSS that is in here will be applied 
the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to set all the elements one below the other so for that let's type author box container and we will set the flex direction to column now for this we will set a max width of 240 pixels and we will also set a padding of 20 pixels top and bottom and uh, 8 pixels left and right and we will text align everything to the center but now let's add some styles to the author image so let's type author box container author image and we will set the width to 100% and we will set a margin bottom of 20 pixels Alright, that's basically it with the mobile version of the author box. Now in the next video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger website. So that below all the posts of your blogger website, you will have this author box displayed. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.